Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and what I have today is a Seku Bluetooth 4.0 receiver for car stereo. It features a stable auxiliary connection with dual port, USB car charger, built-in microphone, and hands-free control, and noise cancellation. So let's get into this itty bitty little box. One thing you'll notice is 18 month warranty, lifetime technical support, and hassle-free service. All right, the cool thing is I've had this out of the box, been using it for quite a while, had to figure out how to put it back exact. I had to like go back to my memory. Yeah, and, and figure out how this went back together again. But I got it back about perfect. I've been using this for like a month straight. Uh, I really love the things, all I got to say about it. Anything audio related, I really want to take my time with. I do apologize to the company for taking too so long to review this product, but I have like a level of integrity I have to hold up to. And uh, I really wanted to put it through the ringer and make sure to, to give a good valued review from experience, not just unboxing it and looking at it and going, blah. This pops right out of the styro styrofoam and this kind of holds it in there nice and neat like. Let's raise this back off. Here's uh, the adapter that you can use to plug your uh, phone into and uh, this Bluetooth adapter here goes into this as well into your vehicle. And I'll show you all this stuff later. Here's the little 3M sticky pad that goes up onto the dash or wherever you want this thing to go. And then you just put this on it, which is magnetized, which is really cool. I'm going slap that on there and it just pops right into place because it's got these little little grooves here cut out and so does the back it snaps right in there which is awesome i love that because then you just take it off hold it in your hand do whatever you want with it push push to do which we'll talk about what all the pushing and, and turning of this thing does here in just a second you get a little extra little little 3m sticky thing which is nice in case something happens to the other ones on the back of that magnet thing and then you get the um a little bookmark, a little magnetized little bookmark here from Seiku, which is which has their uh, logo on it and stuff, which is which is nice. Box, you also get a manual. Yeah, it's a manual. All right, let's uh, talk about some of the features of this. So once you've got this guy uh, mounted to your dash, it just sticks on really easy. And it'll come off actually easy too. I, I've had another brand of, of this before in the past, but this one is better. It's running Bluetooth 4.0. The one I had was 3.0. So, let's go over the features of this guy. So when you have a call coming in, you can just press this multi-function button to answer a call or to end one. So it's just, boop, I'm done with you. Boop, answer the phone. You can long press the button to reject a call without even having to answer. <laughs> Which might be, might be spooky. I'm sitting here thinking, ooh, it's so-and-so it's -and, and I don't want to talk to him. You know, and you hit a bump and your finger comes off and you don't know it and you're riding along. Thank God I didn't answer the phone. <laughs> and then you hear over the thing, what? But make sure you long press. And you can double press uh, the button to redial, redial the uh, last call. So it's like, oh, I forgot to say something to them. Boop, boop. And it'll call them back. Uh, you can do a short press, uh, this function button to play and pause the music, which is nice. And there's another thing that I really like. This is, to me, what sets this apart from, from my old one and some of the other ones are, uh, out there is you can skip to the next song. You just turn it back and forward. And you can long turn one way or the other to do the volume up or down, which is nice. Especially if you want to put this a little closer than what you may reach to your center. If, if you don't have a volume up or down or your steering wheel, that would probably work well. Uh, you just... Long turn, volume up, down, quick, skip. That's it. And also, by the way, the 3.5 goes into your vehicle. Uh, you can get those installed pretty cheap. I got one installed on my truck. My truck didn't have this uh, back some years ago. I did it uh, the way they basically do that nowadays a lot. Instead of hardwiring it in, they'll put like an FM transmitter. Uh, you plug this in, they'll hide it inside the dash somewhere, and they'll put a little a hole nice and neat in your dash somewhere. And you just plug that right in. It's got a box back there that's an FM transmitter. There'll be a switch they'll hide somewhere for you to cut the uh, FM transmitter on. And then you just pre-program a FM channel somewhere on your dash. And it's over the air. It's not hard hardwired in. Mine's not hardwired in. It sounds just fine. So don't be too scared to go that route versus wired in, hardwired in. 
Uh, either way, it work just fine. And when you cut your vehicle on, this thing will automatically pair up to your phone. The last device it was paired to will automatically connect back to that device again. So if you leave your Bluetooth on all the time like I do, basically you jump in your vehicle, you, you turn it on, it automatically connects, you can hear it connect, and you're good to go. You never have to uh, mess with your phone and find it and connect to it manually. And you do have the extra port, the 2.1 amp to charge your phone, which is really cool. An extra uh, port on there is an awesome thing to charge your device. Or in my case, what I have coming out of this is actually my dash cam. I have my dash cam coming off this and uh, this Bluetooth adapter coming off this, which is pretty cool. But you do want to, because this has a mic built into this, uh, you do want to uh, place this in a general location to where uh, it's good enough distance away from your face to where it can pick up from right there. There's the little microphone right there. It's right on the left side, which is cool because most of the time you're going to put this right of the steering wheel. So that works out great. But my assessment of this is fantastic. I, I love it. It works exactly as they say it does. I have no issues at all with it. Uh, the next uh, scene we'll go to is me actually showing you uh, in the vehicle how to set it up. It's really easy. Uh, not a big deal at all to pair this thing up to your device. All right, so here I am in my truck with it, and I'm going to show you how I mount it and all that kind of stuff and where it was at before. So I leave the um, backing on this so I can use this to kind of make sure I get it straight instead of just taking this off and doing it by itself without this attached to it. So basically I'm just going to mount it right here where it's accessible to my hand and the microphone's on the left side. So I'll put her right there back, back where it was before. And now that gives me all my turning that I can do for, for volume up, down, and skipping tracks and stuff and answering while I'm right here at my closest point to my hand. The mic's on the left side. So works just fine for me. The mic clarity is great. So now I'm left with these two cords here. The next cord is going to go the adapter here. So I'll put that into the one that looks like a phone. And then the other one is for my dash cam, so which I have the wires ran for that. And I'll stick that in there like so and uh, plug her right in. Now a lot of times you want to hide the wires. I'm lucky enough down here to have like a, a little uh, a tray so I stuff all my wires down into that tray. Oh and also I got the 3.5 and this is where I had it added in down here at the bottom here. You see the 3.5. I'll go ahead and plug that in. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to get it all turned on and set up with my phone. We'll do that right now. Unfortunately, you have to deal with this beeping noise because I don't want to cut my truck on in the garage and have it running and then I die. That's not a good thing. But you can see here the, the blue light is on, so the power's blinking. Mount that back on there. It fits right into that. Let's go into my phone. Go into my Bluetooth on my phone. And then the Seiku S03 shows right up on my phone down here. You probably can't see that, but it does. I'm pairing to it now. And I hope you could, you could hear the audible for it. I'm connected, and that's it. You're good. To, you're good to go. You've got complete audio in the vehicle. Your Bluetooth up. It'll sync up with you every time now. It's really easy. I'm not gonna play any music for copyright issues, but uh, that is it. I mean, it works great. I'm completely happy with the product. Uh, Seiko is a good company, and I really do appreciate your time watching this. We'll see you later on Isaiah's Reviews. This has been another Isaiah's Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share this to all your social sites. That helps get me to places I can't get to on my own, and I really do appreciate that, and I can't wait to see you again here on Isaiah's Reviews.